Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. A little bit confused with all of this. Let's first go to the car crash we call S&P Minis. We sold 98s and 08s yesterday and we got clipped at the highs up at 13. So we're now square again. Not sure why we're here. Don't want to fight it. Um, stocks look pretty solid. Sitting here 12 and a half, 12 and 3 quarters. It's been 03, 14 and a quarter overnight. This has led to uh, some minor risk on behavior in the currency world. Euro yen in particular looks pretty solid. Now holding steady above this 132, 21, 200 day moving average. Do we see an extension above 133, the figure? It seems like this could happen, indeed. Uh, more risk on behavior or a hot CPI today. If the hot sauce comes out on CPI, uh, we got to keep an eye on this Eurian top side. If things do flip and we go risk off again for whatever reason, Aussie now is. I mean, 14 point range overnight, so let's not get too carried away, but this setup here through 60 looks okay, especially because it coincides with this setup here through 80 in dollar CAD. So, we've got the Bank of Canada today. I won't attach a link to my favorite Blue Oyster Cult single for copyright reasons. Uh, but BOC is today, and so we're not really too interested in dollar CAD until the announcement. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the New York Open. But here in Europe, this Eurian setup is worth a look uh, on the risk on type scenarios, and this Aussie setup is worth a look on the risk off setups. And the Aussie. You know, if you see a squeeze in dollar cad or if you see crude back on the 66 handle, um, this just helps helps with the Aussie. You know, give you a sense on whether this has any power or strength to it, or whether it's just some sort of uh, wimpy little slush. Elsewhere, we don't have too much. Dollar Swiss broke out above the 200-day. Uh, we got what we wanted on that yesterday. That was one solace. Uh, it's going to be support now at, at uh, that same breakout point, 96.50 today. We've been 60.77 overnight, so you can see 17-point range. Very, very dull. Um, one last thing. UK CPI today will be watched very closely. The market looks like they're going to get caught long sterling here. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, the low overnight was 83. Tough to have a position going into CPI because there will be vol on CPI, um, especially if it's a low one. I think there's going to be uh, some pain on the downside. But we shall see. We shall see. So CPI in uh, the UK, keep an eye on that, 1030 Central European time. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Catch you on the flip side.